and welcome back to more of Martian Gothic, where we've just found out that we are in the room of Judith Haraway, the base director for Vita Base. Which that, yeah, you know, I, I said base twice. That was kind of redundant. Anyway, this rug, you can examine it, and you may have not noticed right away, but we picked up a desk, a drawer key, and we examined it. It says it could be a desk key, which is like the other drawer key we found. So this drawer key opens this drawer right here, which we're going to open right now. With, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's, uh, take that main hatch passcode. Let's examine it. 3471. Let's remember that, because that's important. This is for the Kremlin main hatch. Yes, we're going to Soviet Russia. Not really, that's, that's the name of a center of operations here on Vita Base. 3471, I hope I can remember that. Let's place that in there and let's get rid of this alarm clock because it serves no purpose. I'm pretty sure. And alright. Alright. Now, allow me to say just a few times. And let's use the door. Or open the door. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the rainbow tag. We, we, we need to use that there. Let's open it up. And get the hell out of here. Uh, no. 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 That was weird. That, that, that was, that was weird. And I see exactly why that happened. That, that was odd. That was odd. And that was odd. Okay. Actually, fuck it. Fuck it. Yes, fuck it. Just fuck it. Hold on. Let me... Let me save a few more times. Let's use the door with the rainbow tag. You want to see what happens when they meet? I'll show you what happens when they meet. If you've been paying enough attention to what this, what's been going on in the story so far, you, you might know... What the hell is going on? If not, you might be like me and not be able to tell what the fuck's going on at first. And that's what happens when they all meet. Do you know what happened? Have you figured it out yet? If not, I'll explain it later, but that's what happens when they meet when they run across one another. And of course you saw all the R. That's that's instant game over. Of course. And you just had to get back up to ruin my day, you 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 dick. What about you? You gonna get up? Of course you are. You have to get up. That's that's how you do business. I'm running you back to Biolab. Wherever that red red room was. Cause that's where you need to go. You need to get all the way over there and get the hell out of the way. Because you will be in the way otherwise. Or actually... Actually, no, that's a good spot for right now, I think. I think. And since Karn's right here, right next door to Judas' room, he's going to go to Judas' room. And we're going to listen to the computer. Isn't that going to be awesome? If this extra will get the fuck out of my face. Alright. Thank you. You look as though you're sleeping, Judy. Sweet dream. Okay, people. I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Let's find the thing that caused all this and blow it to hell. We owe it to the dead. Yes, let's... Let's blow it to hell. That's... I think that line was a little out of sequence there. I, I don't know. Voice password required. Here we go. Martin. Judith. Computer accessed. August the 8th, 2018. We're opening the sarcophagus today. Nobody's celebrating. Some of the guns are missing from the storerooms. I knew that shipment of weapons would cause trouble. In the washroom a few minutes ago, I looked in the mirror and saw a figure standing behind me. 
The reflection at my back was the image of myself, Judith, standing behind Judith. She held out her arms and said, be with us. When I turned round, she was gone. The strange thing is, I took it all in my stride. It's a few minutes past midnight. We shifted the lid of the sarcophagus and all the old evils of Mars stormed out of that stone tomb. Pandora's box is open and there's no hope, or none that I can see. I watched people clumping together, three in one, threefold beings, abominations. They tore into the rest of us, utter carnage. Some of the crew went mad, firing wildly. The bullets didn't stop the creatures, but they did a lot of damage to human beings. I've always hated guns. An hour's gone by now, and I'm still sitting here in my quarters, staring at the door. The base has gone very quiet. Maybe those creatures have become dormant. It seems as though I'm the only one left alive. Of course, there's the knocking on the door and the voice asking for admittance. That's not the voice of a living man. Time passes. The dead are still knocking on the door, calling my name. I won't listen to them. I keep hearing only one voice, seeing one face. Yours, Martin. If you ever hear this, and I have a feeling you will, I just want to say that it wasn't your fault he died. I should never have walked out on you. Martin, I miss you. And as for that blue planet you walk on that is so, so precious to me right now, help keep it safe, Martin. There's a threat coming to Earth from its own cold regions. A threat codenamed Thule. Something's just come in. The door's securely locked, but I'd forgotten about the duct panel. I'd always wondered whether I'd face death with courage. Now I'm about to find out. All that's left to say is... Goodbye. Judith Haraway. Signing off. Before we forget, let's uh, do these door controls. That's the door to the Kremlin, which we're going to be going to next. Uh, so, yeah. That pretty much explains what Trimorphs are. When they opened up a sarcophagus they found in a necropolis, it released an unknown amount of bacteria from within. And there's three different kinds of bacteria. This bacteria used to be within the ancient Karakarak, the ancient Martians. And it is encoded with their DNA. A single strain, when it is within a dead body, will make it become a non-dead. And the non-dead is basically a reanimated corpse controlled by the spirits of the ancient Karakarak. However, it can also be present in three living human beings, just like it is the three members of the Enigma mission. Now, we kind of hit the unlucky uh, lottery here because each member of the mission is infected with a different version of the bacteria. Karn's got one version, Matlock's got the other, and Kenzo's got one. When living hosts with the bacteria come within close proximity of each other, they do like they did in that scene, which I did when Matlock and Karn met in the airlock. They clump together, and that's the end of it. That's what happened when they opened the sarcophagus, and that's what happens when they meet in the base. Two members who have different bacteria, they'll clump to cre together to create a biomorph, and they will hunt down the new, the next... Uh, whoever's got the other bacteria and is alive, they will hunt that person down and that person will merge with the biomorph to become a trimorph and that is the story of trimorphs and uh... yeah first time i heard that i just i 
It kind of blew my mind. I don't know if it blew your mind, but it blew my mind. A pretty neat concept for a game like this, I thought. I mean, you know, this game's got a lot of problems. It's got a lot of... A lot of hot things about it, but that, that was a pretty neat concept to me. And I should have said so earlier, but I didn't. I, I didn't figure so many people had played this game. I I know you didn't mean to try to spoil it, uh, or you didn't intentionally do it, some of the people who who did it, but, you know. Hopefully if you've been following along and, you know, not looking it up on the internet, you got a nice little surprise. I don't know. Well, anyway. Next time on Marsha Gothic, Karn goes to the Kremlin. And we continue on with this game. See you then.